Hello, I'm Anavultus, and this is a, a chart that I made on a spreadsheet where I am comparing stands in JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part 3. Now, I haven't gotten through doing all of them, and I think it, it might be better to do this piecemeal uh, anyway, since there's probably a lot to talk about. So what I did here is I wrote down the names of the stand, and uh, I also wrote uh, corresponding columns uh, uh, with the uh, rows. So, for example, Star Platinum is on row two. So I've got uh, a number two here just to indicate that this is Star Platinum. So this is essentially me trying to match up all the stands against all the other stands to see which one is the most powerful stand or which one would win in each uh, specific situation. Now, let me just say that this here is more of an aggregate uh, chart that uh, does not go through every possible situation. I'm thinking of actually creating one that uh, analyzes who would win if uh, there's an ambush uh, between two stands or if uh, the stand users know each other's ability uh, etc. as uh, the outcomes of the stand battles would be very different. Uh, but for now, I'm just doing a sort of an aggregate where I'm looking at multiple situations and just thinking which one is the most likely to win in uh, a number of different fights between two stands. So, uh, of course, uh, the green indicates that uh, the row would beat the column the red indicates that uh, the row would lose to the column. Uh, for example, uh, this square here uh, is green, where the row is start platinum and the column is number three, which corresponds to magician's red. And therefore, uh, it, in, in my opinion, star platinum would beat magician's red. Now, this is also mirrored down here, where uh, the row on magician's red is column uh, number two which indicates that uh, Magician's Red would lose to Star Platinum. And the blue is a situation where there would be an obvious tie, and this is usually when the stands are the same, uh, with the exception here of Star Platinum uh, versus the world. And, there, and the reason why I made an exception there is because Star Platinum and the world have very similar abilities, and the actual differences of ability between Star Platinum and the world may simply be due to the fact that Dio is a vampire. Uh, but generally speaking, since uh, we, we don't actually have a human user of the world, um, un unless you uh, go into uh, the later part, but uh, generally speaking, if, if we're simply talking about part three, uh, we're not really seeing it. So I would say that generally speaking, the world is very close in power to Star Platinum that uh, a stand user with a reasonable amount of skill who uses the stands in the same ways that the characters uh, in the story use the stands would uh, be likely to uh, would be just as likely as unlikely to win a fight against each other since they have um, a very similar, if not the same ability. Uh, and also, uh, on the criteria of a fight, I'm assuming that whoever is a stand user in these fights is a competent user, however, that still uses the stand in the way that it was used in the story. Otherwise, we can get really crazy with what-if scenarios of what if the stand is used this way or that way. Uh, but uh, since the stands haven't been used in certain particular ways in the story, I'm not really willing to let it... Uh, be that way. A great example would be Ebony Devil, uh, which for now doesn't really win against anything. And the reason it doesn't is because the stand user, uh, in order to use a stand in the story, what he did is he had, he intentionally allowed his enemies to attack him. And the problem is, is that you risk your own life and you, you, you what if your enemy kills you? Then you just wasted your time and you didn't even get to use your stand. However, Ebony Devil does manifest as a stand that does indeed have a weapon. Uh, um, from what I've seen, it has a sword. 
So in theory, I'm thinking that Ebony Devil could, in theory, act like a significantly weaker version of Silver Chariot um, if uh, the user had decided to attack directly. But we never actually see the user attempt to do anything of the sort with his stand, which uh, means that for the purposes of this, we're only going to assume that the stand is used in a way similar to the way the user used it. In other words, whoever is using the Ebony Devil is, in theory, someone who will only attack uh, by allowing his enemies to hurt him first, which, in my opinion, makes Ebony Devil one of the weakest uh, stands in, in a fight anyway between two stand users, because... If, let's say, your enemy cripples you and you can't run away, then you've essentially lost the fight because now you are in a situation where you are at the mercy of your enemy, which uh, is not at all an advantageous situation. So let's let's take a look uh, around here. Now, if you want me to talk about any specific matchups and to explain if something looks really weird to you, I would be happy to, but uh, hopefully we'll get... Uh, to talking about a lot of these. Um, I'm thinking maybe I should make separate videos on some of these, but for now I'm going to be talking about them generally just to uh, get some information out. So uh, Star Platinum, in my opinion, beats Magician's Red, and I'm using Star Platinum in its peak of usage. That means we're using Star Platinum with the ability to stop time to which uh, Magician's Red doesn't have a counter. Uh, Hermit Purple is not the most useful combat stand, so obviously it's going to lose to uh, Magician's Red and Star Platinum. Unless for a plot reason, uh, you can use Hermit Purple to maybe figure something out. But uh, I'm going to assume that that really isn't really advantageous if you're already engaged in a fight. Um... Now, Hierophant Green, in my opinion, uh, Hierophant Green can indeed beat Magician's Red. And this is, uh, or to be more exact, I think they can both beat each other. But I think uh, Hierophant Green has a higher chance of beating Magician's Red than Magician's Red has of beating Hierophant Green. Now, this is an interesting uh, fight because I was wondering who would win and ultimately... I think that uh, Hierophant Green has both a greater range and also um, an ability to be a bit more stealthy and to uh, really prepare the battlefield potentially, which uh, is something that uh, Magician's Red cannot do as well as Hierophant Green. So you, you can then send an Emerald Splash. And I know that there's many characters in JoJo's Bizarre Adventure that can indeed deflect the Emerald Splash, but I don't think Magician's Red is probably the most suitable stand for doing that. So I think Hierophant Green certainly would have an advantage simply due to the longer range. Now, let me just emphasize when it concerns talking about stand stats. Um, I did not base this on stand stats. However, I did consult stand stats in a situation where I wasn't sure uh, whether a stand was more powerful or weaker than another stand. Uh, a great example here would be Wheel of Fortune, uh, which uh, lost in a fight against uh, Star Platinum, which is one of the strongest stands uh, when it concerns uh, physical attack capability. However, uh, I was wondering how would Wheel of Fortune fare against some other stands, such as let's say, Hierophant Green. And ultimately, I came to the conclusion that I, I didn't really know exactly how tough Wheel of Fortune was. Um, but ultimately, Araki, for the stand stats, give, gave it an A. So I'm thinking that, I'm thinking that uh, Wheel of Fortune should be able to deflect the Emerald Splash if it's that uh, strong in durability and therefore is actually a, a relatively durable stand that can uh, fare well against uh, uh, actually a wide variety of opponents. Um, but uh, I'm, I might get into that a bit later. So um, when it concerns Hierophant Green versus Hermit Purple, Hermit Purple, of course, uh, 
loses. Silver Chariot is a very strong stand uh, because of its speed, um, which in my opinion means that it uh, is more likely to win against Magician's Red than it is to lose, even though that is what happened in the story. Um, in addition to that, uh, Silver Chariot has been shown to be able to manipulate Magician, uh, Magician's Red's fire, which uh, of course means that it certainly does have some ability to deal with Magician's Red. The Tower of Grey was a bit difficult for me to decide, but I think I got the decision down that Tower of Grey, I'm comparing it, it has a very high speed, but it leaves the stand user relatively undefended. In other words, a strong close range stand user such as Star Platinum will probably be able to defend against Tower of Grey effectively while searching for the stand user, at which point the stand user uh, would have not many options for defending himself, therefore rendering Tower of Grey weak against uh, close range strong stands um, when it concerns that, as we saw in the story. I also think that Magician's Red uh, can in fact deal with Tower of Grey relatively well. Now the Fool, when it concerns the Fool, in my opinion, um, the Fool would indeed win against Tower of Grey because the Fool has uh, capability of defending the stand user very well. Um, However, the Fool doesn't really seem to have as much power as some of the other uh, stands from the main characters, which is why it uh, loses to a lot of them, uh, except for, of course, Hermit Purple. The World beats most stands, at least uh, all of the ones that I've looked at so far. Dark Blue Moon. Now, Dark Blue Moon is indeed a strong close-range stand. However, it is most powerful when it is in the water. For this reason, I rated it lower than uh, many of the other close range stands. Uh, however, there are other stands that I do believe that it can beat, which I might get into a little bit later. Strength. Strength is actually a very powerful stand. Um, as long as the user is within uh, the actual uh, vehicle or whatever is enhanced by strength, then most close range stands don't really have much of a chance at defeating strength unless the user reveals himself. Um, Star Platinum and the world, of course, use Time Stop, which uh, can indeed uh, circumvent that defense to some extent. Ebony Devil, I already mentioned, is very uh, weak because it requires your opponent to do something and to also not be able to finish you off, which uh, is a bit uh, problematic. Yellow Temperance, of course, in my opinion, would not beat Time Stop. However, Yellow Temperance is very strong defensively and can eat uh, most things that come into contact with it, making it a very, very powerful stand that in my opinion can defeat most of her stands uh, with of course a uh, few exceptions hanged man hanged man can travel at the speed of light but doesn't actually attack at the speed of light which uh, is is in fact two different things of course going from a reflective surface to a reflective surface allows hanged man to attack in very many places, particularly if you are in a uh, an urban area where you're more likely to see reflective surfaces. Hanged Man is very powerful. Uh, however, Hanged Man can, in my opinion, be defeated by extremely fast stands. Um, and I also think that uh, Yellow Temperance would be generally uh, capable of defending against Hanged Man relatively well, uh, with strength, of course, uh, 
beating Hanged Man because uh, of the control that uh, Hanged Man can have over its environment. However, uh, when I say Yellow Temperance can defend against Hanged Man, I don't think that Yellow Temperance really can beat Hanged Man, since Hanged Man actually can attack from a relatively long distance away, and uh, the stand user still needs to breathe. So Hanged Man can indeed surprise attack the, the user of Yellow Temperance, uh, killing the user, which would put it definitely in a win for Hanged Man. Uh, Silver Chariot has been shown to be fast enough to beat Hanged Man. Star Platinum with Time Stop, as well as uh, the World with Time Stop, would also beat Hanged Man relatively well. And as I mentioned earlier, Strength can control um, its... Uh, it has, has some environmental control, so that can certainly lead to a disadvantageous battlefield for Hanged Man. Emperor. Emperor, in my opinion, is somewhat similar to Tower of Grey uh, in the fact that it's a very fast stand that uh, can hit very hard. However, Emperor also suffers from the same weaknesses uh, as Tower of Grey in that uh, it can be defeated by fast stands and... Uh, also, pretty much any stand that can deflect bullets um, is relatively strong against Emperor. However, Emperor still manages to pull down many of the weaker stands. So, for example, we have Star Platinum and Magician's Red uh, are known to be able to beat bullets, which uh, is means they can beat Emperor. Uh, Hierophant Green, Silver Chariot can also beat Emperor. Um, Hierophant Green, I, I would say, has the advantage in being able to fire many projectiles, while Hanged Man is not very useful defensively. Uh, sorry, not Hanged Man, sorry, Emperor is not very useful defensively. Although Hanged Man also is not too useful defensively, uh, however... Emperor does need to be guided uh, because the stand itself does not have eyes and the user cannot uh, look through the eyes of his stands since it does not have eyes, which means that the user cannot remotely control his bullets if they are out of view. Uh, but uh, this, is, this is not a problem with uh, Hierophant Green because the stand indeed can uh, attack from many different angles uh, without... Uh, the user having to be able to see everything directly. Now, when it concerns Tower of Grey, um, this was an interesting question because I think this is also this the same reason Hierophant Green would defeat Emperor is the same reason that Tower of Grey would defeat um, Emperor because Tower of Grey can be remote controlled a lot better than Emperor, and also the stand stats uh, are a little bit better as well, so I'm assuming that Tower of Grey uh, probably would be able to beat Emperor in a one-on-one -on -one fight. Now, Emperor can probably beat Dark Blue Moon, since uh, we don't know if Dark Blue Moon can actually deflect bullets, and Dark Blue Moon is, uh, although being a close-range uh punchy type stand isn't actually known to be too powerful out of the water. However, I, I would still say it would probably be relatively powerful. Um, a, a lot of people don't do Dark Blue Moon credit in assuming that it's only useful in the water when that's categorically not true. Now, uh, let me think. Emperor can, of course, beat Ebony Devil. Uh, however, would be weak to Yellow Temperance due to Yellow Temperance's uh, defensive abilities as well as Hanged Man, which can uh, attack more indirectly, uh, catching the stand user of Emperor by surprise more likely. Empress. Empress 
requires you to do something very specific in order to use the stand in it to uh, make uh, your opponent have contact with your blood, which can be a bit complicated, uh, but really only works in an ambush situation where your opponent doesn't know that you're attacking them. However, if you are in a direct confrontation, you wouldn't really be able to use the stand very well. Uh, of course, I do believe that Empress is better than Ebony Devil because Empress, not only the stand itself is relatively strong in close combat, although not the strongest. Um, however, Empress also allows you to attack on your own initiative, um, which uh, is not really seen with Ebony Devil, where you have to hope for a reaction and you actually put your life at risk by uh, attacking your opponent without using your stand. So I think Empress definitely is more likely to win in that situation. Wheel of Fortune, of course, loses to very powerful close-range stands, such as Star Platinum and Magician's Red, that can probably uh, damage the enhanced... Uh, well, it's, it's technically not enhanced, okay? A lot of people get very confused as to the difference between Wheel of Fortune and Strength. Wheel of Fortune, the, the um, tarot card stands for more of a change. So Wheel of Fortune is essentially heavily modifies something while strength makes something a lot stronger. So that's, I, I guess, a way to categorize the difference uh, between uh, Wheel of Fortune and strength. Um, although Wheel of Fortune does indeed also make things stronger, but more by modding it rather than really upping its uh, orders of magnitude significantly like strength does. Um, Wheel of Fortune also is more freeform in the way that it enhances um, as uh, strength seems to mostly enhance in a way that... Uh, corresponds to the way something would commonly be considered stronger, such as a small boat becoming a cargo ship, instead of, let's say, a, a weird JoJo's Bizarre Adventure uh, cruiser or something that's got all sorts of weird weapons on it, which is uh, more something that would be up Wheel of Fortune's alley, although Wheel of Fortune wouldn't enhance a small boat into a large cruiser. It would instead make a really fancy small boat. Um... So that that's uh, a a difference there. I also say that Wheel of Fortune, uh, according to Iraqi, has very high durability, and I'm not going to throw that out uh, since we only really saw it get beaten up by Star Platinum. Um, so it's not as if I can say too much about that. Um, four and five. Hermit Purple, Hierophant Green, uh, Wheel of Fortune can probably deflect the Emerald Splash if its durability is that high. And Hermit Purple, what's that going to do to Wheel of Fortune? Number seven, Tower of Grey, Wheel of Fortune. Uh, the way it was used to enhance a car encases the user completely in the stand, in a high durability stand. So technically speaking, if we're talking about Warren stands, Strength and Wheel of Fortune, in theory, uh, are technically the first Warren stands since uh, they are vehicles, but that's, I guess, a little bit different uh, qualification. But they do surround the user completely. Well, Yellow Temperance surrounds the user completely, uh, but not always because the user needs uh, to breathe as well. But anyway, Wheel of Fortune obviously um, would defeat... Uh, Let's see, number 10, that's uh, Dark Blue Moon. Dark Blue Moon, while being a close-range strong stand, is probably not strong enough to beat down Wheel of Fortune. And uh, number 12, Ebony Devil. Same reasons why everything else beats every Ebony Devil. Uh, 13 and 14, 
Um, Wheel of Fortune would probably use to Yellow Temperance and Hanged Man Yellow Temperance because of simply how tough the stand is, being able to defend against something as strong as Star Platinum, which uh, beat Wheel of Fortune, but also uh, Hanged Man because of uh, the fact that Yellow Temperance, not sorry, not Yellow Temperance, Wheel of Fortune, the way it was used, it had windows, and even if the windows are really tough, as long as they have some reflective properties, it's a uh, open season for Hanged Man. So uh, I don't think the user would be able to defend against Hanged Man very well with uh, Wheel of Fortune. However, Emperor, for the same reason as it could be Tower of Grey, this the whole uh, stand user is encased in a strong, highly durable stand that's probably going to be able to uh, deflect bullets uh, or at least uh, absorb them without significant damage. And Empress, uh, because Empress generally is not a strong stand unless you get the right setup off, which is unlikely to happen if your opponent is hiding inside a vehicle. Now, Justice. Justice, the stand itself is uh, a sort of a gaseous stand. It's, we don't ever see it become fully solid or tangible, which uh, means that for what we've seen of it, if the stand user is directly attacked, Justice might not be able to defend the stand user completely, unless it, of course, pulls out the, the hordes of, uh, of zombies that it can, which is something that... Uh, a thing about the way Justice is used that you should probably not overlook. But uh, Star Platinum is very fast, has very high precision, and can inhale Justice, which is what happened in the manga as well as the anime because of uh, adaptation loyalty, I guess. A, a good adaptation, generally speaking. Uh, Magician's Red can sort of do an area of effect attack, which w would be strong against the... Um, the zombies that are controlled, well, they're not really zombies, they're corpses that are just being moved around, they're not really zombies. It, it would be strong against uh, the corpses controlled by Judgment, uh, not, sorry, Judgment, uh, Justice. Sorry, I apologize for my impropriety there. Hermit Purple doesn't have any long-range attacks, nor does it have any way of... Uh, attack of defending against large crowds. So Hermit Purple goes down easily against Justice. Um, Hierophant Green and Silver Chariot would uh, have the advantage due to either speed, uh, long range, ability to attack multiple opponents, uh, all things that are good when fighting against Justice. Uh, Tower of Grey... It's technically very easy for the stand user of Justice to hide if there's a huge crowd of corpses. And if there's a huge crowd of corpses, I don't think that Tower of Grey would be very useful in defending the stand user from a large army, for example. So that would not work very well. So Justice, in my opinion, would indeed win over Tower of Grey. The Fool and the World. The Fool can be used very defensively. So in my opinion, is uh, relatively strong against Justice. Um, the World, for same reasons as Star Platinum, beats Justice. Dark Blue Moon is uh, a close-range combat stand that, even if it's outside of the water, probably has enough speed and strength to beat down the corpses used by Justice. Um, and number 11, Strength beats Justice due to the fact that what what is Justice going to do about Strength? There's nothing you can do. Nothing you can really do about Strength uh, if uh, Justice is there. And of course, uh, Ebony Devil loses most matches. Yellow Temperance 
encases the user and can eat flesh, which therefore makes it very strong because it would be difficult for uh, justice to uh, use the corpses or just in any way to attack the user of uh, Yellow Temperance, which therefore makes uh, the primary ability of justice to uh, control through means of wounds uh, relatively useless. Uh, 14, 15, and 16. Hanged man, emperor, empress would lose for the same reason that uh, Tower of Grey would lose. There's simply not a lot of defensive capability, which is really what you need uh, when you're fighting against a stand of like justice that uh, produces an army of corpses. And number 17, Will of Fortune encases the user and is uh, probably going to hold up very well against attacks from corpses. So that would be justice. Lovers. Now, this is a bit difficult to decide, but uh, generally speaking, my rule of thumb when looking at lovers is that any stand that can one-hit KO the user of lovers probably can uh, deactivate the stand. Uh, however, any stand that does not do so would therefore fall victim to it. Um, of course, Star Platinum and the world can stop time, which uh, makes lovers relatively useless in that situation. Um, Magician's Red could incinerate the user very fast. Now, when it concerns Hermit Purple, Hierophant Green, they're not as fast, so um, I don't think... Uh, well, Hierophant Green, uh, when we're comparing to Magician's Red... I don't think Hierophant Green is as likely to one-hit the user as Magician's Red is. Silver Chariot is a very fast stand, so I think it definitely could beat Lovers. Tower of Grey is also very fast and can uh, one-hit kill very easily, so that would beat Lovers. Um, number eight, The Fool, in my opinion, is not as fast and is less likely to one-hit KO, so it would not be able to beat Lovers. The world, of course, beats Lovers. Number 10, Dark Blue Moon, is not as fast, especially outside of water, so it wouldn't beat Lovers. Uh, strength is... It's kind of hard to attack the user if the user is hiding inside of Strength. Uh, Ebony Devil loses every match so far, so... There we go. Uh, 13, 14, and 15. Yellow Temperance, Hanged Man, and Emperor. Uh, Yellow Temperance can defend against lovers relatively well, in my opinion. Uh, Hanged Man uh, and Emperor can theoretically one-hit uh, KO the user. Uh, Empress, on the other hand, cannot. Wheel of Fortune... Uh, when it concerns lovers. Let's see. 17. I put that down as a win for lovers. As uh, the user may have his window down. Um, and Wheel of Fortune does not uh, one-hit KO. However... If the user of Wheel of Fortune knows that uh, knows about the ability of the user of Lovers, uh, then Wheel of Fortune would definitely win that one. Uh, Lovers would also lose against uh, Justice. Now, the reason why lovers would lose against Justice is because, again, the stand user can hide, uh, and there's a huge crowd of corpses, uh, which can make it more difficult to find uh, the stand user of Justice. The Sun! The Sun is a very powerful stand, and is technically a close-range stand, but it can 
but it has a very high range rating according to Iraqi, and that's because it can shoot out beams that can melt rocks and pretty much kill anyone they touch, uh, which of course makes the sun an extremely dangerous stand. It can also locally increase the temperature significantly. Uh, however, due to the fact that it's the, the stand itself cannot be moved a long range away from the user, it means that the user also uh, would be affected by the temperature increases. Um, however, nevertheless, I do believe that the sun is more powerful than Magician's Red, um, would beat Hierophant Green, uh, Silver Chariot wouldn't be able to do very much about uh, the sun. Tower of Grey, also not much you can do there. Um, the Fool, not much. Uh, so the world and Star Platinum beat the sun. And you may say this has to do with time stuff. And yes, it does. But you may say... But Star Platinum beat uh, the sun without time stop. And that's because the user of the sun was dumb and chose to fight in a very passive way rather than actively attacking his opponents, in which case he probably would have won. Because at close range, his stand is capable of attacking uh, with a lot of beams, which uh, if, let's say, Star Platinum tried to block the beams, would probably be very bad for Star Platinum. Now, when it concerns another stand that can beat the sun, that's stand number 14, Hanged Man. The reason Hanged Man can defeat the sun is because Hanged Man can approach uh, the user without uh, the user of Hanged Man having to be in direct eyesight uh, with uh, the user of the sun and can and it can also approach him without the stand itself being at risk for a lot of attack, which uh, means that Hanged Man uh, probably can beat the sun. Now, the, the rest of the stand so far, I believe that the sun can beat as well. It's just that, in my opinion, the user of the sun was not uh, very good. But uh, the user did show that the sun can increase the temperature drastically, as well as fire out powerful beams. And if, let's say, the user decided to move towards his enemies while firing beams, then uh, that would be a lot more powerful. Or to, let's say, put his stand in between himself and his opponent that would also be very powerful. Death 13. Death 13 is a stand that requires your opponent to do something, which obviously makes it a relatively weak stand. However, I do believe that Death 13 does have certain advantages in one respect it uh, is more powerful than ebony devil because what it requires you to do is not something actively but something that you naturally do which is sleep however if your opponent knows about your ability then your opponent can completely circumvent your stand entirely and uh, completely defeat your stand without you being able to do very much about it number 19 lovers in my opinion uh, is can also be beaten by Death 13 because the stand user doesn't have to physically attack uh, his opponent in order to kill his opponent, which is what Lovers generally thrives upon. And you may say, what if Lovers just simply tries to rip your brain apart? Well, the, the, the one problem is that Although in theory it should be possible, it doesn't seem like that's what the stand actually does. So, uh, what it what we have seen lovers do is, uh, of course, create little clones of itself, uh, disguise itself using brain matter. It can multiply and it can copy and multiply the pain of its user onto 
uh, its opponent, and it can... Uh, Let, let, let me think. What was the other thing lovers could do? Oh, it can plant Dio's, uh, Dio's uh, little uh, bud, his flesh bud, his spore, which uh, is not being included in the fight. So, yeah. So, lovers... Unless lovers can indeed just rip your opponent's brain apart, we're not really going to count lovers as being able to do that. Because in the story, it doesn't seem like that's something that the stand user really thought about doing. Um, judgment. Okay, judgment is... a relatively strong close-range stand. Uh, however, it... it seems to somehow operate uh, automatically. However, we see that it is indeed a very tough stand. So, well, I do believe that Star Platinum and Magician's Red can beat it. Herbert Purple, Hierophant Green, Silver Chariot, Tower of Grey, and The Fool don't seem to have enough power to really beat its durability. The world can beat Judgment. Um... Dark Blue Moon definitely cannot. Strength can probably beat Judgment. Ebony Devil obviously cannot. And 13 and 14, Yellow Temperance and Hanged Man, uh, for very for different reasons, can uh, can beat Judgment. And 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. So we've got Emperor, Empress, Wheel of Fortune, Justice. And lovers, I do believe that Judgment is probably strong enough to damage Wheel of Fortune. Um, Justice and lovers can be beaten for the same reason that other stands can beat Justice and lovers. Same thing with Emperor and Empress. Uh, judgment can probably deflect bullets. And I'm, I'm judging this based on the fact that uh, Judgment was able to... Um, do relatively well against Silver Chariot and also generally is considered by Iraqi to have a high uh, durability. Um, now, when it concerns a fight with uh, the Sun, I do not believe that Judgment is capable of winning that fight. However, against uh, Def 13, that's certainly a win. High Priestess. Loses to Star Platinum, loses to Silver Chariot because of speed, loses to the world, loses to strength due to strength's ability to control its uh, the, the immediate environment that is affected by the stand. Um, it also loses to Yellow Temperance due to the strong defensive properties of the stand. Um, High Priestess loses to Wheel of Fortune, also due to the defensive properties of it. Uh, it loses to Justice because uh, High Priestess is not the strongest defensive stand. And uh, it also... Uh, in my opinion, would lose to lovers because High Priestess probably can't one-hit kill in most circumstances. Um, however, it does indeed beat the sun due to its uh, longer range and speed and, and small size. Death 13 for the same reasons as everyone else. And uh, Judgment, since Judgment is not as strong as some of the other close-range combat stands. Geb has water. However, Geb has a relatively long range and can one-hit kill opponents relatively easily, in my opinion. So Geb would lose to Star Platinum and the world. However, it would beat Magician's Red, Hermit Purple, Hierophant Green, Silver Chariot, Tower of Grey, and The Fool. It would also beat Dark Blue Moon, but lose to Strength due to Strength's uh, uh, 
just the the control of its uh, environment. It would win against Ebony Devil for obvious reasons. Lose against Yellow Temperance due to Yellow Temperance's uh, defensive abilities. Win against Hanged Man, and this might be a bit controversial, but I think that Geb generally does well when it concerns not only its range, but also its ability to defend the user, uh, which Hanged Man cannot. So I, I see Geb as being similar to Hanged Man in that it uh, jumps around and attacks users from a long distance. Uh, however, uh, it also is good defensively as well, which Hanged Man really is not. Um, although, in my opinion, uh, Geb would indeed beat Hanged Man for uh, this reason to some extent. Now, uh, when it then concerns Emperor and Empress, Geb also wins on the range front. Wheel of Fortune is very tough, so I think Wheel of Fortune would be a serious challenge to Geb. Now, Justice, Lovers, The Sun... Death 13, Judgment, and High Priestess uh, all would be outranged by Geb. Uh, Death 13, maybe not outranged, but uh, would be beaten because of the same reasons ever as everyone else. Lovers, due to the one-hit kill uh, potential of Geb. So, here we have it. That's uh, how far I've gotten so far. If you disagree with any particular assessment that I've made here, um, or you would like me to elaborate on any particular fight, or just simply you would like to weigh in your own opinion on perhaps a stand that hasn't been mentioned yet, I would be happy to hear that. Um, but uh, this is so far my personal opinion as a professional power scaler uh, as to this. And eventually I'm thinking of maybe taking all this and aggregating the info in order to perhaps make a tier chart to maybe simplify things. But I think it's best to really collect data first. So I'm going to uh, expand this more and more until I really reach, uh, well, at least part three, but I'm thinking of maybe doing part four, five, six, seven as well. Part eight is still uh, ongoing, so I might not uh, do that one. But uh, there you go. So tell me what you thought in the comment section below. And I will be seeing you all next time. Anavoltus over and out.